when Disney and Marvel announced that X-Men 97 was going to be coming to Disney Plus, essentially a continuation of the 90s X-Men cartoon that so many people know and love, you had to know that it was going to turn out badly. Some people still got their hopes up with everything we've seen from them, and that is a mistake because already the writing is on the wall and they're pretty much coming out and telling you this isn't going to be the cartoon that you remember. This isn't going to be the series that you remember, and we need to tackle real world problems. X-Men 97 head writer hints Disney Plus series will reflect modern issues. The world's a very different place than when the original was first made. Then why are you making a series that is supposed to be a continuation of that? Why don't you just do X-Men 2022? Why don't you make that series? Oh, that's right, because you know that no one will be interested to watch something original that you make unless it's tied to something that people care about. And it looks like that's exactly what we're in for with X-Men 97. The latest indication the series will suffer from the same critical theory-based writing that has doomed so many productions before it. X-Men 97 head writer Bo DeMeo has suggested the upcoming Disney Plus revival will see a focus on today's world woven into the story. DeMeo provided a hand at X-Men 97's planned direction during a recent discussion with the direct writer Russ Milheim regarding the various ways in which the fan favorite incarnation of Marvel Super's team or the Marvel Super Teams return to the small screen will differ from their initial outing. And you have to talk about the impact that this cartoon had. This X-Men cartoon in the 90s is just as important as Batman the Animated Series, but for these characters as opposed to Batman and the Bat Family. This is a beloved series that a lot of people have great memories of. That's why they're resurrecting it. That's why they're doing a continuation because they know that people are very passionate about it and that people were very impacted by that and how it developed their fandom throughout the rest of their lives. Well, they're going to take that love and they're going to destroy it. He talked a little bit about how he felt it was important that the characters were truly themselves and earnest. He focused on that a little bit in the interview. Building upon this approach with emotion, when asked by Milheim how X-Men 97 may improve Improve upon or differ from the original series, the writer asserted, I don't know if improve would be a word I would use. I think the show's amazing in so many ways. I think what I would say is the generation who grew up watching that show, we've grown up and the world's a very different place than when that show was first made. And so it's more of a question of what does that show look like knowing what we know now and how it looks like in today's world with everything that's changed, everything that hasn't changed, sadly, in our world. That is where I believe my focus has been as a storyteller has really been that. So his focus as a storyteller is not keeping it consistent with what it was before. His focus has been to make sure that the current modern world and those values are reflected on what is supposed to be a continuation of something from the mid 90s. This has disaster spelled all over it. And we already knew that from the people that are involved because they cannot help themselves but insert their ideology into whatever they're making. Previously, the show's supervising director pinned a tweet to his account features a message declaring, fuck Trump. He's still your boy, then fuck you too. There you go, from Jake Castorena. That's gonna be great. Glad the supervising director seems to have, uh, you know, no problem with anyone with another political viewpoint. What else do we have? The supervising producer, Charlie Feldman. Donald Trump cannot condemn white supremacists because he is a white supremacist. Repeated that over and over and over again because these people uh, have mental illness. These people are absolutely insane. Also said that Kyle Rittenhouse is a fucking murderer among a lot of other different statements. In my personal writing, tropes include grappling with gender, himbo good boys, mom stuff, queer kids going on adventures, uh, folk myth fairy tales, Neil Gaiman probably did this better, and anxiety over the future. These are the people that are involved with the new X-Men series on Disney+, Plus. which if you got your hopes up, that's kind of on you at this point. If you see something that you cared about, that they're about to do a reboot of or a sequel or a continuation from these types of people in Hollywood, if you are still getting excited over that, I suppose at this point, it's your own fault. They've told you numerous times that they despise you and that they hate you, and they will stop at nothing. They will stop at no form of destruction of any of the stuff we love in order to push their narrative and push their message. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, Share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. 
Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.